Tonight, Representative Candy Smith held a town hall at Pitt Community College. It was a chance for the people of District 8 to find out what she's doing in Raleigh. Now on your sides, Caroline Boyer is here in the studio. Caroline, what did she talk about tonight? Courtney, the state budget process is already underway, and Representative Smith got the first copy of that budget on her desk this morning. Tonight, she met with people in her district to discuss what's currently in the budget and what needs to change. I know we're in Raleigh, but we still represent this district, so I'm still representing District 8. I want to be accessible. This is your government. This is your budget. These are your funds. And so it is important to make sure that your voice is heard. The General Assembly has the job of allocating more than $24 billion. Representative Candy Smith wants to get public input on where that money should go. This is taxpayers' money, and I like to um, talk with them to see what their interests are, what their ideas are. Smith says she's just beginning to comb through the budget, but she already sees some issues with it. I personally think it does not do enough. Um, Medicaid expansion still needs to happen, especially during the pandemic. We've had COVID to hit and, and to just devastate so many homes. Smith also has concerns about the current budget's funding for teachers. The proposal suggests deeper tax cuts instead of raises for educators. What is even suggested in this budget is like an insult. we got to continue to fight for our teachers. On one hand, we, we say we need them so much because our kids need this education. But then on the opposite hand, we turn around and do not want to reward them. One good thing she sees? Funding for the construction of a new Brody School of Medicine. Brody is currently in the budget for $215 million, so we're, you know, still praying for that. It's a constant moving document, and we might go in tomorrow and have another entire document sitting there with some changes. Smith says she'll take the concerns she heard at tonight's town hall and do her best to fight for them in Raleigh. She encourages anyone with suggestions to reach out to her office. In studio, Caroline Boyer, 9 on your side. Caroline, thank you.